Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a Dollar Tree haul. It literally has been years since I've done a Dollar Tree haul on our channel. I went there today to find a few things for my son's Easter basket, and I ended up finding a lot more. So I decided to share it with you all. I don't go there as much as I used to since they went up on their prices to $1.25. But like I said, I found a lot of goodies. I spent $53 and some change. So I will jump right in. Everything that I bought today was $1.25. You know, they also have things that cost $3 and $5, but everything I got was $1.25. So I will start back here. I got these small bottles of water that have really cute little sayings on it for my son. He is four years old. And I also saw this Chipotle Jasmine Rice uh, by Mahatma. I love their products. I've never tried their um, 90 second microwave rice, especially not in this flavor. So I grabbed two of them and they don't expire until September. So I thought that was a really good deal. I grabbed some elbow macaroni because it is really hard to find elbow macaroni that doesn't have those ridges in it. I do not like the elbow macaroni with the ridges, so I grabbed a box. And then I also grabbed some um, oven ready lasagna as well. I love the magazines in the Dollar Tree, especially the cooking magazines. So I saw this one, cast iron cooking for two, and then all time best freezer meals as well. I grabbed a few air fresheners for my car. Um, I saw this lavender sachet and I love the smell of lavender. So I grabbed that. And then they had the fresh linen and you get six pieces. And then they also had strawberry and lemonade. And I don't know if these are gonna smell good or not or how strong they'll be, but I just wanted to give them a try. So these are some items that I grabbed for my son's Easter basket. Um, he loves the alphabet and shapes and colors and numbers. And so I thought this was really cool. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. There is a book series um, under the same name. So they have the alphabet flashcards, the shapes and colors and the numbers. He does know all of them already, but he still loves to look at cards and recite things. So I thought this would be really cute for him. I grabbed some foam dice for him. They had different colors. We're trying to teach him addition um, right now. And so I thought this would be a really easy way for him to see how things add up. So I grabbed that for him. Um, I grabbed these. I thought he would think this is pretty cool. Um, these are dinosaurs and he's into them right now and they're supposed to grow when she put them in water. So I thought he would like that. And then they had these Play-Doh play sets and they had different types, but this one has a roller and then it also has shapes and it comes with Play-Doh. Um, and he also has some at home, but I thought he might like that. And then I saw this light projector. Let me show you the box first. I took it out so you all could see it, but it's a light projector. It does use um, three AAA batteries and it has different colors. I thought that was pretty cool. He would like to look at that at night. And this is what it looks like. So it's a pretty decent size. And there is the battery holder right there. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed these hair clips for myself. Uh, I have to drop off my son early in the morning before 7.30 um, in the carpool lane. And these are really sturdy. If I just wanna throw my hair up and then drop him off, um, I like these. I like them a lot. I like the colors. And then I grabbed some seasonings, which I 100% don't need any seasonings, but um, they had this salt-free seasoning, which I thought was pretty good. And let me see, here's what's in there. Garlic, onion, orange peel, black pepper, crushed pepper, etc. I grabbed some chopped chives for my scrambled eggs. And then I grabbed this citrus garlic seasoning to show you what's in there right here so i love seasoning so grab that and then i like to have these at home for my son so when i send them to school i send a much sturdier water bottle but i like to have these at home for him so they had this one which i thought was pretty cute it says blast off 
And then they also had the camouflage version as well. So these are the two boy type varieties and they also had two for girls as well. So I got two camouflage and just one blast off. Um, let's see, go over here to the cleaning products. I recently discovered um, Dollar Tree's cleaning products. I have bought this one before, the Totally Awesome, and I have a spray bottle that I poured into. This stuff is really good. You're supposed to dilute it, but I don't. I use it to clean my showers, any hard to clean areas, and it really works very well. I have not tried this awesome orange before, but I'm sure it's pretty good too. Uh, it says degreaser and spot remover. And then I also grabbed this kitchen cleaner. I love having foam soap in my son's bathroom because it makes less of a mess. And this was a pretty good deal, 11.25 ounces for it. And then I like having this um, Oxidol on hand too. I use it to clean my shower stall, like the bottom, the floor, and it works pretty good. I saw this for the first time. It's a cleaning paste. And it's supposed to be, I'm assuming it's similar to the, I think it's called the pink stuff. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed some um, small um, little garbage bags for my bathroom garbage um, pails. So I grabbed that and then I saw this, which was pretty cute. It's a fruit fly trap. I don't have any fruit flies right now, but it seems with summer and summer fruit, they're always hanging around. And so, I don't know if you all can see, but there's a little cone on the inside. You're supposed to put fruit in there and then it traps a little fruit, fr fruit flies in there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then um, if I just need to do a quick mop or quick clean, then I love having my little Swiffer on hand, but I needed some more of the wet refills. And this says that it's similar to the Swiffer wet. So we'll see, you get 10 of them in there. And then these are two and a half gallon, I saw it somewhere, two and a half gallon um, bags, storage bags. So I got these for Harrison's toy pieces that are everywhere just to try to get them all in one spot from all his different games or puzzles, or whatever it may be. So I like having that on hand or those on hand. And then this is a garden kneeling pad. So my small group at church is doing a service project. We are going to a food donation farm. We're gonna be harvesting vegetables. So we're supposed to bring um, uh, garden gloves, but I decided to bring a kneeling pad too in case we're doing a lot of kneeling and pooling and planting and so forth. So I grabbed that and then I was very excited to see these air fryer liners and these are pretty deep. You get 20 of them. So um, this size is six inches and this size right here is 7.9 inches. So you get 15 of the larger ones and 20 of the smaller ones. So this is everything that I picked up on my Dollar Tree haul. Oh, let me show you this paste. So here is what that paste looks like, that pink paste. So I just wanted you all to see what it looks like because I know I like to see stuff like that too. But um, anyway, this is everything that I picked up on my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.